Well, one of the things about poodles, if you are a poodle owner, you know it's hairy ears. We're in the road! <laughs> guys, don't forget to laugh every day. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. Wait, is that an Ollie boy I see in there? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, you guys are all snuggled up, huh? Yeah, we are. This is a Saturday morning with a service dog, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Keeping me warm. It's like surprisingly cold here. It's like, today it's like sunny, but the last couple of days it's been like overcast in like 60s. It's like fall weather. But today's really nice because it's kind of cool, but the sun keeps you warm. I love that about the fall. Reminds me of apples <laughs> I don't know <laughs> apples apples is he awake or asleep he's pretty much asleep oh. it is nice out today really nice <laughs> this is my universal sign for it. it's nice out <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I was like holding out my arm to like signify the grandeur of the weather today but I realized my arm would be out of the frame of the ca camera. So, as a vlogger, I naturally made this gesture. <laughs> naturally. <laughs> Anyways. Ollie's realized, uh, checking out the pool. I realized you can kind of see. I don't know if everybody knows. I have an enlarged spleen. Yes. So, on this side, this is the side with the liver. This is the side with the spleen. So on this side, you can see it kind of goes, like, this is the end of my rib. Here, let's see if we can get a good angle up here. And this is my spleen right here. Not spleen, spleen. It's, if you're a medical student, you might be able to... So normal people, your spleen is up under your left rib area. But mine is enlarged. I think it has something to do with the portal vein between the liver and the spleen. Portal hypertension, that's what I have. So my spleen, instead of being up under here, it's down to here. And sometimes when I look down, I can see it like that. But it's weird. You can, you can, you can, uh, yeah. It, it, no, basically, really. you can feel her spleen. Like, there it is. No spleen, spleen, no spleen, spleen. Where like on a normal person, you gotta like stick your hand in their gut to get to their spleen. Yeah, that. Anyways, she's like a, a medical student's dream. Yeah, I will, um... If a medical student comes into my my hospital room, I'll be like, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna test you, okay? And then they get real nervous, and I'm mm -hmm. like, find my spleen. They're like, okay, I'm like it's not hard. <laughs> You're gonna be able to find it. It's the football sticking out of my stomach. Yeah. And look what Mary's doing. <gasps> I sense a happy fall painting coming soon. Coming soon to a theater near you. What? I almost drank my water. Ew. <laughs> I don't know how that went. We've got this guy, which we'll see. There's the little H. There's the dry enough. My life of lettering for you. Oh, then there's this guy. Oh, then there's this guy. I did two A's, so I turned it into a P, and then it turned into an owl. And then there's that guy. So, we'll see how it ends up. I've got that pumpkin. I was thinking we could do a happy fall pumpkin thing. We'll see. All right, guys, so one of the most frequent questions we get on the vlog is, what kind of dog is Oliver? I'm a standard poodle. Well, I'm not always. <laughs> Say, hey guys, I'm a standard poodle. I'm not mixed with anything. I'm just a plain old poodle. Plain old poodle. Well, one of the things about poodles, if you are a poodle owner, you know it's hairy ears. Inside the ear canal, poodles grow hair. And so it's really important to keep the insides of the ears clean. Because if you don't, there's going to be issues. Some people have issues with, uh, by people I mean dogs, some dogs have issues with um, 
like getting infections in their ears because poodles ears don't stick up. You don't get a lot of airflow in there, plus the hair makes it not airflow. Anyway, it's really important to keep ears clean. So when this company called Zymox, which you guys know Zymox because we worked with them before with a dental product for dogs. They said, do you want to try out our ear product? And I was like, yes, please, because we have to clean his ears. And so I thought, why not try the Zymox ear cleaner? So um, as you, I don't know if you guys can read his body language right now, but he's not very excited. That's because he doesn't like to get his ears cleaned, but here's the thing, I have to do it. So that's part of life. And those of us with chronic illnesses know that we have to do things we don't like and poor poodle ears have to be cleaned. Um, so we just try to make it as fun as possible with some treats. Oh, yay. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited because this product is the ear cleaner. So this is what we will use one to two times a week. Um, and basically, I'll do it right now, but basically what you do is you just dribble some in the ear canal and then massage it. So I just dribbled some and then you massage the base of the ear canal. Good boy, yes, a good boy. <laughs> and um, I just do that for like 30 seconds or so. And you can kind of like hear it squishing around in there. It says that you can remove the excess with a cotton ball. Um, and one way you can do this, he's like, um, no thanks. Come here, Bonzi. I know, that's so crazy. But what you can do with it is you can actually put the cotton ball down in the ear canal. Well, I just have like a cotton ball in his ear right now and I'm just rubbing the ear canal a little bit and it will help get the wax out. Good boy. Good job. So what's cool about Zymox is it has these bioactive uh, enzymes that work to break down the gunk in the ears and that's for the ear cleanser for those of you who have dogs who get the chronic or infections cats. or cats or cats a lot of a lot of dogs with these hairy ears get these chronic infections and um it's like dogs get really sensitive because of it and so Zymox also has an ear solution that can be used when the dog has an ear infection and what it does is it works best in a dirty environment so you don't need to clean the ears beforehand. You just put this in there and the enzymes work to uh, fight different kinds of bacteria and break it down. And this thing, this one, I'm not going to use on Oliver because he doesn't have an ear infection. You fill the ear, ear canal with this. It's kind of, it's thicker. Um, this, this one is like, <laughs> it's like water. I mean, it's not water, but it's the light. It's really thin. This one's a little thicker and you can use it once a day for seven days and then you wipe to remove excess. So thanks Zymox for sponsoring this vlog and for sharing these products with us dog owners and yeah. cat owners. And so if you guys want to check them out, we've got some links down in the description. You can check out their products and try them out on your dogs and let us know what you think. And I'm glad to have products that work well so that even though he doesn't like to get his ears cleaned, I know it's doing the job. Um, two things. One, while Peter was picking up something at Staples, I painted my nails in the car. <laughs> that was successful. And when I came out, uh, she was like, she was jamming out to some music. I was jamming out. Yeah, she was like, she had her hands. <laughs> she, she looked funny because she had her hands drying in front of the air conditioning. and But she was singing, so she was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's real life, people. And um, secondly, we like went to one store and, or I guess we went to two stores. Went to two stores. Woo! Woo! And my lungs just feel like, so somebody asked, what do you mean when you say your lungs don't feel good? So today it's like, um, when I breathe in deeply, it's achy feeling. It's not like a sharp pain, but it's achy. Um, it, oh. it's a green light. Oh. <laughs> um, when I breathe in, my lungs are achy. Um, so I'm not breathing in very deeply. And secondly, um, my cough is kind of like, well, it's probably, I need to sit down and like do my best again, but my cough is like reactive, like,
and then I'm kind of holding it there so I don't cough harder. But anyway, so my lungs just aren't very comfortable. They feel kind of tired out, kind of achy, some pain, but not a whole lot, not sharp pain. So anyway, that's my lung explanation. Always wearing his um, leather harness today because I needed a little bit more of a handle to hold on to since my lungs are a little more tired. So he's rocking it. Making tacos. And we didn't have any refried beans. So we have black beans, so I'm making refried black beans. That I missed the well? plate. Oh, <laughs> I missed it, the it, plate. It, it, okay. Do you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Mixing in the beans, mixing in the beans. <laughs> Alright, my turn. <laughs> beans and meat. Cheese, please. Let us let us eat something. Get it? Did you get it? Mm-hmm. Next will be salsa. Salsa. Make way for Prince Ali. Thank you, come again. Okay. Next will be. Everybody, everywhere. All right, guys, we're gonna make caramel apples because <clears throat> fall is here. Ready? I saw this on like one of those BuzzFeed videos. All right, and then what I saw is you stick a mm -hmm. toothpick in there and then you dip it in. Then it's a teeny tiny caramel apple. We made spaghetti for leftovers for tomorrow. Just saying. Okay, right, can I see? Oh, so tiny, so cute. Voila, little mini caramel apples. We can't take credit for this idea, but it is a good idea. <laughs> what? You're talking really much. <laughs> <laughs> I decided I want to start doing some, some push-ups each day, so I did 10. For three days I've done it, and one minute of planking. Here we go. He just like face planted. He's playing with his ball. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Set, go. Okay. <laughs> go get your ball. Do you want to put your ball on me? Go get your ball. Oh my goodness, it's only been 14 <laughs> seconds. No, I don't look at the clock. Plank, plank, I'm a plank. Let's plank. Get your ball, Ollie. <laughs> are you quivering? No, no, no. <laughs> you have way better abs than me because you cough a lot. <laughs> You're going to have to come get it. We're over halfway done! We can do it! Mm -hmm. No, we can't! <laughs> we can't do it! Yes, we can! Come get your ball! Get your ball, Holly! Oh, Ten! Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four! Four. Three! Two! One! Oh! <laughs> and clean and you're all tucked in <laughs> his little hands are flexing like a uh, lion it keeps doing it yeah good night peeps <laughs> thanks for watching guys and as always we will see you tomorrow good night, good night.